Hey everybody, Sadness here, and today we're going to be talking about collectibles. Now, I had zero clue what a collectible was until one day I was looking at my contracts menu and I saw a little button at the bottom of the contracts menu that I'd never seen before, and it said collectibles. Now, clicking on it, I noticed that it had a bunch of eggs that said undiscovered and that there were six of them, which was the perfect amount to be one for every single contract egg. And it's in the contracts tab, so it makes sense. And I happen to have one of these right now. It was the fireworks egg in a legacy contract that I hadn't done. So I started up a new firework farm and I was like, well, what the heck is a collectible? And I didn't have to wait long until the game told me exactly what a collectible was. Some contract eggs are unique. Each time you encounter one, you unlock a permanent buff if you achieve a certain farm size. So basically it's like 10 million, 100 million, 1 billion. These numbers seem familiar. I wonder if there's gonna be one for 10 billion as well. And it was basically the equivalent of trophies for the contract eggs. And instead of giving soul eggs and prophecy eggs, it seems like they give boosts. So the firework egg seems to give percent earnings bonuses. And I was right, there is one for 10 billion and it is a 5% earnings bonus. So that was pretty exciting. And then I was like, okay, well, I wonder what the rest of them are gonna be. But first I had to get all of the achievements for this one. So I went in ahead and I waited several hours and then I got enough tokens so that I could boost and I launched off a bunch of boosts. And then now that the boosts were gone, I noticed that, well, first I noticed that I had to change over my IHR set. It was being used on a different contract farm. So I had to go to that contract and disable them. But when I came back, I had three check marks there. And I was like, those check marks look like the gold check mark completions. However, they're slightly lighter green than the gold check mark completions. So I went ahead and I went back into the contracts tab and I looked at the firework egg and I saw that they probably corresponded to the first three levels of the firework egg the firework egg completions because I had completed those three thresholds. So I went ahead and I clicked on them and I was right. So it was plus 1% earnings for this first one. And then I noticed at the bottom, it says basically that this will, it's a permanent boost that applies everywhere. However, it will go away once I get the next threshold value for this egg. So basically you only keep the best one. So right now I have plus 3% earnings because I've achieved the third threshold for fireworks. Once I get the fourth threshold, I think I get 4% earnings, or is it just go straight to 5%? It might've just gone straight to 5% because I think there might've only been four levels. Yeah. And so now while this time lapse is going of me slowly getting to 10 billion chickens so I can collect the last fireworks egg, let's look up what the other eggs do. Now, the brand new contract egg that's never even had a contract done for it yet has a buff of giving you, once again, plus earnings. And it's one, two, three, and five, just like the fireworks egg. So the carbon fiber egg seems to be just identical to the fireworks egg, basically. Next up was the chocolate egg, which is seems to be a lunar equivalent. It's 25% away earnings, then 50%, then 75%, and then plus 100% away earnings, which will be really good for a lunar siege. If only I had a chocolate egg that I could max out before my lunar siege, but I'm gonna do my first ever lunar siege probably tonight. Anyways, next up is the Easter egg, which gives you an increase in internal hatchery rate from one to two to three to 5%. A 5% increase in internal hatchery rate is actually a really big deal. So that's kind of crazy that they introduced that. Next up is the pumpkin egg, which gives you shipping capacity increases, one, two, three, and 5% once again. And that's really cool. I'm shocked that they're giving you such good boosts for these eggs. And last up is the water balloon, which gives a permanent decrease in research cost, which is once again insane. It goes from one to two to three to 5%. Now 5% of course, isn't that that much, but I don't, I wonder how it works with like the cube, the tier four legendary cube on enlightenment egg. If you have it at like 150%, it makes things cost virtually nothing. I wonder if you can actually get the costs of things down to 0% with this. But either way, so those are the six eggs and their rewards. And I can't wait to collect all of these different collectibles. It's been a long time in the game since I've had something like trophies. And it's really cool that they finally introduced trophies for all of these contract eggs that we never had under the guise of collectibles. And they've got the beautiful pun, the collectibles pun. And yeah, it looks like that's about it. And we are achieving the 10 billion now and collecting our 5% permanent boost to earnings. Anyways, that's all I have for today, everybody. 
I'm sorry that I didn't make a video about enlightenment. I don't know if anybody was expecting a video about the enlightenment egg today. I ran out of time, so I just wanted to do a shorter video about this brand new feature that Egg Inc. just added that I'm really excited about. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!